15th episode of the second series based on the story of the same name for the railway series book, more about Thomas the Tank Engine, Better Late Than Never is considered to be one of the worst episodes for the second series, as well as the series in general. You know, in the days before Hit Entertainment took over. But is it really as bad as people say it is? Let's take a look. Work has become difficult for the engines on the island of Sodor as the viaduct on the main line is being repaired, with the arches being strengthened. As the plant controller is unwilling to close the railway during repairs, the work has taken a long time and all the engines crossing the viaduct must cross slowly and carefully so as to safely avoid it collapsing under them. Because of this, the engines are often late making it to the junction where Thomas waits for his passengers. Thomas grumbles about this to Henry, who defends himself by telling Thomas that they have to reduce their speeds and join the repair work. Thomas, however, isn't prepared to listen and leaves to try to make up for lost time. Normally, when Thomas stops at Tidmouth Station, Bertie arrives soon after and his passengers go straight from him to their train. But because the larger engines are late for Thomas, he is late for Bertie's passengers and now they often find themselves waiting on the platform. This makes Bertie cross with Thomas, whom Bertie tells when he arrives that he thought that Thomas could go faster than that. He then remarks that they should have another race, thinking he could now beat him. Anger in the exhausted Thomas, who blames the mainline engines for differing on their viaduct and claims it to be an excuse for laziness. Another day, James arrives later than ever. He apologises, stating that a hold up at Cronk Station combined with the delay at the viaduct contributed to this lateness. Thomas, as usual, has no interest in excuses, seeing this actual circumstance as a bad excuse, and leaves grumbling. He attempts to reach the station as fast as he can, but is unable to make up much time. However, things change when Thomas spots Bertie at a level crossing with his radiator steaming. Thomas tells Bertie he is late, but Bertie tells Thomas that he feels dreadful and his driver cannot repair him. Thomas running so late brings a bit of relief, as he can now pick up the passengers at this point instead of leaving them stranded. Thomas no longer feels cross and is sorry for Bertie, and promises to send for help at the next station. Thomas leaves with Bertie's passengers on board and brings them home safely. Once Bertie is repaired, he and Thomas make up for their argument and both agree that sometimes being late is not such a bad thing after all, and then they return to work. Many Thomas fans consider this episode to be one of the worst episodes of the second series, as well as the classic series in general. But I personally disagree with those accusations. I think it's mainly due to the fact that not that much goes on in the episode. But I honestly don't mind that. I see it as a nice quick breather from the events of a close shave before we get into the next episode. And it's also a scenario I can actually relate to. People being late for stuff. Because I have to take taxi rides to my current job at the hospital. And the first taxi company I went with started running late a lot, which made me late for work. And they made me late coming home as well. And in the end I had to give them the boot and go to a much better taxi company. And because of this I always felt the same way that Thomas did in this episode seeing the driver's lateness as being an excuse for laziness. So it's a scenario I can honestly relate to. And this episode does have a lot of goods in it as well, like introducing us to the classic busy theme that Michael Donner and Junior Campbell composed. It just adds to the busy life of the island, especially when you see the repair works on the viaduct. that would get used for the rest of the second series in various episodes. It's just that popular and really catchy, and it's become one of the most iconic tunes in the TV series. And it's also the final episode of the second series to be based on a story from More About Thomas the Tank Engine, but it wouldn't be the last episode to be based on a story by Christopher Audrey. That would come later on in the series. The episode also has Thomas at his most pratty-ish, since he has no interest in the big engines as excuses for being late and is just more concerned with getting his job done on time. It's especially as amplified with this moment. Why should I keep my passengers waiting while Henry and James dawdle about all day on viaducts? Don't blame me, snorted Henry. If we hurried across the viaduct, it might collapse and then you'd have no passengers at all. What would you do then? Run my train on time for one thing Thomas. What a dick. But as I said, since I've had stuff like this happen to me in my current job in the past, I can honestly relate to Thomas. It's those mainline engines. 
they dither about on their viaduct and then blame the fat control as workmen. It's just an excuse for laziness if you ask me. So better late than never may not be as exciting as a close shave was, but I see it as a breath of fresh air from the previous episode before we get into the next set of episodes. It's a nice episode with a simple story, and that's one of the things that made Thomas the Tank Engine and Friends really popular in my opinion. Simple stories mixed in with exciting and exhilarating stories. It might not be for everyone, but I would definitely recommend checking it out if you haven't seen it for a while. It's a nice quick breather from the previous episode, and it's a bit of build up for the next episode which would have more excitement and more new characters. Check this out if you haven't seen it for a while, it's one of the good ones.